at our pages. What Google does that's so interesting is that they will allow your customers to put reviews in and put them there, but they also suck in reviews from other places on the web and they publish those as well. If you want to know the other places that they suck from, sorry for the term, <laughs> but uh, then all you got to do is uh, do, do several searches uh, in your area and look at the reviews that other businesses are getting and then right at the bottom of the reviews, it will often say more reviews from Insider Pages, more reviews from Kudzu, more reviews from Yellow Pages or wherever. Once you realize where they're getting them from for your area, then you could also have your customers put their reviews in those other areas. And then not only do they benefit being in those places, but then they also get sucked into the Google as well. All right. Now, there is nothing that you can do in marketing online that is more important than getting reviews. Nothing. It will help move you up in the ranks and it will help convince the person, once they find you high in the ranks, it helps to convince the customer that you're the best person to do business with. So there is absolutely nothing else that's more important than this. Okay? Having a review is better than good sales copy. And you know why? For the same reason that good testimonials are, are, are better. Because people online, their trust is really low. And even though you can write good copy that can take them so far, and that does convince many people, when they read it from somebody else, somebody that's a third party who maybe did business with you, and they're just going in there, and you know, it's only one paragraph, and they're saying something good about you, boy, the believability goes through the roof. And you know who proved that in the biggest way? Amazon.com. Think about it. If you've ever bought a book, how many people have bought a book or anything from Amazon.com, okay? It's about, you know, 99% of the population. How many people have ever read a review on what you bought, okay, before you bought it, all right? The reason is you trust the reviews. And guess what? There's another thing to think about. Some people get all hot and, and, and worried when they get a review and it's only like three stars or four stars. You're saying, gosh, I just wish they had to put five stars. But the reality is people trust four-star and three-star reviews more than five-star reviews. So if you can get people to give you a good review and if they mark four stars, then just go, yes. Because those are the reviews that people will go there, they will read it, and they'll think that it's not rigged. You didn't have your mother and your uncle and your brother and everybody go over there. Oh, click five stars and write something great. Okay? These are real reviews. Amazon also has a feature which I think is kind of interesting, and you can even try this on your, your, your website if you, if you want, is they actually publish the worst review and the best review and put them right next to each other. The credibility just goes absolutely through the roof. If you have the balls to put that on your website, then people will trust you like there's no belief. So, you know, put up a bad review and put up a good review, and of course, you know, you put the bad one up like, uh, you know, great service, the carpet looked great, I just wish he hadn't been five minutes late. You know, that's the worst review. And then you put up the really good, in other words, you can pick through all the reviews, real reviews that your customers have given, and you put that up there, and, and it gives, up, gives people a lot of faith in what you're doing. And that idea came from uh, uh, Amazon.com. Now, here's the way that you're going to get people to do this a little bit easier. Unfortunately, well, let me go back and show you one more thing here. <clears throat> Lost my place. Wow, that was weird. Okay, here we are. No, <laughs> there we are. Okay, if you wanted to have a person go directly to your page, here's what you need to do. Go to your page at the very place where you enter the review. Okay, here's, here it is, okay? The person would need to put in the title of their review, they need to indicate by clicking these stars, uh, and then they need to write a review right there. That's what they need to do. Then they would click save and they're all done. By the way, in order for Google to let them input a review, the person has to have a Google account, meaning that they have to have signed up, it's free, just by putting in their name and email address. Now you're going to find that most people 
I don't know if it's most, but many, many people do already have a Google account because maybe they're using Gmail or they use a lot of the other Google services and applications that they offer. They have a lot of nice free stuff. So that's another thing that you're going to need to tell your potential reviewer to, that when they go through this process, they, they may have put in their name and email with Google and set up the account. You can maybe let them know, you know all the great things that Google does. But that's just another hurdle in getting the review. But once they're logged in, they're going to end up on this page. Now, what you need is the ability to give your customer the link so that you could say, hey, would you mind going to Google and just giving my business a review? And they may say, oh, sure, no problem. Then the next thing you've got to do is give them the link to get there, right? Well, I've already told you you could have them go to Google, put in your name, your business, do the search, you know, find it, click review, and then go through all those steps. And you could do that. Or the other way is just give them the link. But then we have problem number 52. <laughs> Which is the link, and the way you get the link is you click where it says write the review and then you will end up on this page. Let me go to this page. I can't read my tabs up here, so let me find it. Yeah, just click the link. Well, darn. Here it is. Okay. See that link right there? It's like about eight lines long. Guess what? That's the link. That's the link that Google will give you that your customer has to go to in order to get to your thing. So it's kind of hard for them to type that in, especially if you're re reading it to them over the phone. <laughs> If you do decide to read it to them over the phone, just ask them if they have 30 minutes before you start. <laughs> All right, so here's what you do. You need to go to what's called a URL redirect service. And Joe has set one up, which is called go2468.com. Now, Gina just told me something, Gina, who works with Joe, that uh, it just so happens that when you use this link, it has real good search engine optimization benefits. I don't want to spend a lot of time on that, but this, is, this has turned out to be kind of a double whammy. But for, day, for today, what it's going to help you with is giving your customer a short URL that they can go to so they can give the link. So the way that works is this. You, you will go to go2468.com, and basically the system says, paste in the big long URL, the one that Google uh, uh, has set up for your review page, and then Go2468 will convert it into a really, really short one. The one that I converted, it's actually is called go2468.com forward slash review. Okay? And then if you click on that, look what happens. Or if your customer were to go to that one, what happens is it just redirects to that big, long URL and takes them directly to a page where they can enter in their review. Okay? Now you notice I'm going to enter in the review, and, and, and this is a customer, it says, hey, you're going to have to log in. If the person has a login, they go ahead and log in. If they don't, they're going to have to create an account at Google. That's where they're going to have to enter their name and, and phone number. So let's enter that in. And here we are actually on the review page. The customer could put in the title, they could do the ranking, and they type in the review, and then they could hit submit, and, and bingo, they, they'd be there. So this is a little bit of work. The benefits are huge, and here's the good news. You only need between three to seven reviews. That's all you need. Now, two years from now, that may change because other businesses may finally wake up and figure out that they should be doing this. But for right now, uh, you know, three to, to you know, seven reviews is really what you need. So that shouldn't be too much of, an, you know, of a, a challenge for you to achieve, but you'll get huge benefits from it. Now, any questions? Quick questions on this. Yes.